She looked at me and I looked at her and I thought, boy, this is great. <laughs> <laughs> Finding that special person and falling in love doesn't happen every day. We found we had something in common. We're both Lutherans. And finding and falling in love here at an assisted living facility is especially rare. I've been jilted by an old woman, my God. An old woman? Yeah. Are you recording all of this? But for 90-year-old Gloria Hurley and 93-year-old Fred Fetcher, that's exactly what happened. People know that we're together, you know, here, because we're always together. We don't have to be together. We want to be together. Both claim that life after their previous spouses passed away was a lonely place. And when she died, I had hoped that I would die with her, but I didn't. And feared relocating to an assisted living facility would only make things worse. It takes a long time to get acclimated to a place like this. But then they met. It's a nice life. Try the word chemistry. That might help. And they've been enjoying their time here together ever since. Well, I have 93-year-old old eyes. We, we are in the process of making jewelry. That sounds rather, rather trite, but it isn't. It's fun. They've been together now for two years, and much like our own relationships, it's not always perfect. No, no, no. If you line it Let up me properly, do it now. now. Line it up properly, and then you have All the right. thing. Sometimes you'd like to, you know. Well, like everything else, no, nothing goes 100%. We know that. But they do have some words of advice for us relative rookies. Live every day. Live every day. Do one day at a time. That's all and you don't have. take it too seriously. <laughs>